Hi guys, it's Sam from Creatively Sam, and today I'm making a Pier 1 inspired fur frame. When I saw this on their website, I knew I had to have it, I just couldn't afford it. So I made my own. If you want to see how I did this, stay tuned. It's coming up next. The first thing I'm going to do is open these up and take them apart and paint the frames white. So we'll be back when I get done with that. Okay, I painted the frames white and then I put some bling inside the glass with everything else just to make sure that it's going to close. And I'm going to insert a picture of the finished product project that I'm trying to recreate. Okay, let's get started. Okay, this is the mat that was in the picture. And it's got foam in there, which is fine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the bling to fit the width of this all the way around. And then I'm going to be gluing it in place. Okay, I got all the pieces cut and now I'm just going to hot glue them down here. And I'm going to try and keep them as even with the outside as I can. And I've made sure that the part that's on the inside has got most of the little strings off. Okay, get rid of that. And I'll be back after I glue them down. Okay, I put it all together and put a picture in there. And now I'm going to start on the fur on the outside. And I've had this fur for a while. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to angle this so that it fits nicely. And the one thing I learned a long time ago was when you cut fur, you want to cut through the back. You don't want to cut straight like that because it's going to make a mess. You cut underneath. And that way your fur isn't cut flat. And it'll blend much easier. Okay, now that I have that cut, I'm just going to glue it in place, and I'm not going to worry about this because that's going to wrap over. But what I want it to do is come down just a little bit past the frame. And I'm going to be cutting it over here and continue all the way around. Okay, I got it all over the outside of the frame. And as you can see with the leftovers on the corners, you can just fluff them so you can't see where they start and where they begin or finish. I'm going to trim this down and then I'm going to glue it in place. And you can see by doing it that way how there's all this leftover fluff and it's not cut straight. Okay, I don't know if you can see how there's this little piece coming off here. I'm just going to straighten that out a little bit. And then I'm just going to glue it in place. And I'll be back when I'm done with that. And it's all done. And I think it looks pretty close to the Pier 1. And I can always use hairbrush to fluff this out even more. 
because it is fur and it will brush very nicely. So, there's my Pier 1 inspired fur frame. If you like what you saw, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe. And happy creating, everyone.